Successful Facebook marketing starts point A to point B in the simplest and most efficient manner possible. That's why we put together another video tutorial for you. Hi, I'm Donna Newman, and my thinking is when you have the exact steps to succeed on Facebook, then you have the exact steps to leapfrog your competition. So let's get started. Facebook launched its new timeline for Facebook business pages. Hi, I'm Donna Newman of WeBuildYourSocialMedia.com. I'm going to show you what it looks like and just how the updated design and tools benefit your business or your brand. So what in the heck is the Facebook timeline? Well, Facebook timeline is something you probably are already familiar with from your personal profile, but it'll be the new layout for pages and it will be rolled out to all pages starting March 30th. So probably a good idea for you to acclimate to all of the design changes and then where the locations are, especially with your admin panel, before you're forced to have to adjust. Bottom line, the timeline is more visual. Fans can still look at your custom landing page as well as through your wall posts with just a few clicks, seeing your memorable moments, your photographs, and your events. Now, however, the features are far more visually engaging. As you can see on the bottom right side, we've got a banner across the top. This can actually change out to be a location photo. It can be a custom branded one with your call to action. It can be something that maybe is a little bit more timely or timeless. And then of course you see our frog and that's where you're going to have your profile photograph. And then finally another big design change is you can see our house. You see how we have a blue background in a tan house. You can actually custom the covers for all of your applications. So let's let me show you where we're going. And to give you this inside scoop and exactly how the timeline can make a benefit to your business. So we're going to talk about the cover and the profile photos, Facebook tabs, fan engagement, tell your story. We're going to talk about the benefits of highlighting, pinning, and adding milestones to your timeline layout. Messaging, Facebook pages can actually message their fans now, and that's a big coup. What your custom landing page looks like on your timeline, how you can easily access your admin panel compared to how it used to be a little bit more archaic, what your activity log gives you as far as accessibility, how you can build an audience, and finally, how fans engage in your newsfeed. So let's first look at the cover and the profile photos. You can prominently display your cover, especially your cover and your profile photographs at the top of your page. Your cover photo is seen by all of your fans and is obviously the first impression to new visitors. You can change this out to showcase your most important news, timely news, or it could be timeless news. But the, you want to know the measurements so you can easily adjust your photograph. It's 851 pixels wide by 315 pixels high. If for any reason your photograph turns out to be a little bit taller or a little bit wider, the beauty of this new adjustment, unlike the old sidebar, <laughs> is that you could actually drag and drop. That's a great feature that Facebook offers you. And cover photos, as just as the old sidebars, they're not linkable banners. They are static photographs. Probably a word to the wise here is that Facebook really wants you to understand some official cover guidelines. And there's a link right here that I provided. You can include a call, I mean a strong call to action such as get 40% off this weekend. You can't have a big arrow that points down to your home which is where your custom landing page is. You can't say uh, buy one get one free. You have to be really rigid and I don't know how they're going to police this but I certainly wouldn't want to be the one who's getting her hand slapped so I'd be pretty mindful of those guidelines. Second is the profile photo. Choose a logo. This is actually going to be representative of your page all over Facebook. And as you remember from the original sidebar, this photograph serves as your thumbnail that feeds throughout all of your postings. So use a high quality image, and I'd probably recommend a logo or something that is very recognizable for your brand that scales from that profile position of 180 by 180 pixels to that of 32 pixels by 32 and choose the photographs that really exemplify your brand's personality and style and that people can easily recognize as being your brand. 
Here, your page tabs are now displayed as boxes below the cover photo. Recall that they were originally underneath your sidebar as links. And a nice bonus too is that you can customize the images for the apps by going under your admin panel, under manage, and then the drop down is edit page. And I'll show you where that admin panel is a little bit later. But here, in order to design them, you'll want to know that it's 111 pixels wide by 74 pixels. And tabs, you're going to see that that photo tab is fixed, just like it used to be in the original layout. But admins can actually rearrange the other three. And you can see that the balance of your tabs beyond four are going to be in that drop down arrow. For us, we've got three others. So I'm going to show you on the next slide exactly how to rearrange them and give them priority. You can see up here, in order to reposition the tab box, you're going to expand the tab section to display all tabs. Then to click and edit, you're going to hover over the tab, click the pencil icon, then choose the tab that you like your for example, your custom landing page tab to swap positions with. And here we actually swapped our custom landing page with our events because we didn't have any emergent events coming up and we wanted to make sure that people didn't miss out on our custom landing page. So the best practice is since the timeline only displays your first three tabs, make sure you rearrange your tabs according to priority. And priority may change according to timeliness as well. Default tabs. Admins can no longer set a default landing page tab. So new visitors will land on your timeline when they first go to your Facebook page. And you'll want to kind of use some tricks of the trade here. You'll want to use your short URL that links directly to your custom landing page and put that bit.ly URL in your pages about section. And you can see over here I've written leading AZ's most strategic social media marketing agency for your success. We speak teach and consult for retention and application. And then I put my bit.ly link so that anybody can either click on that or they can copy it and paste it. And that will bring up my custom landing page that if they overlooked it in the blue box with the house on it, they'll definitely click on that and it'll bring it up. So it's a powerful way, a second powerful way not to be missed if they don't see the application. How you shorten your link, because my link is www.facebook.com forward slash WBYSM and then there's some numbers after that for the custom landing page. Too big obviously to fit in there. So to shorten your custom landing pages URL you want to go to www.bitly.com you enter URL click shorten and then save it to monitor clicks and in order to save it you have to be a member I believe it's a free membership and then you're going to copy to your about so that people don't miss out on seeing your custom landing page. Timeline. This is what fans will see. So they're going to see status updates, photos, videos, and milestones, and that's all going to be displayed on a two column wide timeline. Look up in the top right hand corner underneath the button that reads admin panel. You're going to see now, and then current would be February 2012, etc and then you go back. So all page updates are in chronological order and they're easily accessible to fans. Page, <laughs> you recall when fans had to scroll down and scroll down and scroll down. Now there's at least some of these sectional markers so that they can easily go back to a location, a milestone, or perhaps an, an exact post that you made. Then at the top of every timeline, and this is pretty important for social proof, fans will see their friends activity with your page. And that is a powerful social proof because friends influence buying. So if they see their friends are not only have liked your page, but then they're also going to see how some of their friends who have liked your page have actually engaged with your page with postings, maybe it's original, or it's simply a like or a comment that leads them to feel pretty comfortable that your services or your products are worth looking at and perhaps even buying. So the tip here is also to ask your friends and your fans to tag your page in posts to help spread the word about your brand beyond your brand but also on their page going through their newsfeed to all of their friends or their fans. Timeline. 
So you're going to tell your story now, and you can add past events in your music career, in your brand career, in your product, in your service career. You can talk about the recording of single releases. You can talk about shows that you've just had. Maybe it's uh, an event, a brand new tour you've had for a product debut or service, perhaps you're a musician. You can showcase new videos, whether it's music or it's product, or perhaps it's even testimonials. Just like you used to, to update your status, click on your timeline and select your status type. And that might be simply a text status, could be a photograph, and photos, by the way, are the most prominently shared item on Facebook. You can ask a question, or you can even implement a milestone. Here's an example. Take advantage of the increased visual space on your timeline and use what we call in the business rich media. That's pictures that are big scale, videos that are less than a minute and a half, links that are easily accessible, and the moment they click on the link, they're going to get exactly what you promised in the text. And that will actually drive engagement for your page. Here's the timeline that's visually engaging. You can add, delete, highlight, or pin. Anchor or pin your most important story to the top of your page for up to seven days by clicking on the pencil icon. Here, you'll have a drop-down, and the very first drop-down is you want to pin to the top or unpin from the top. And the moment you've clicked the pin, you'll see the yellow arrow at the top, and actually that's maybe the, the bottom of a ribbon. And you can change this out every week so fans notice what's most important to you. And not every story do you want to have up there for all seven days. So when you're finished with that story, just go ahead and unpin it. And then it will go back in the timely chronology that you originally posted it. A second way to add a visual engaging design is to highlight a post, and you can see that in the bottom example, and make it widescreen, which allows it to go from one column wide to two columns wide, and you click the star icon on a post. If you want to unstar it so that it goes back into its nice little one column, go ahead and just click it, and you can see up there you can remove from the highlights. Another visually engaging design element that's new is adding a milestone event, and this is kind of important so that if you've got some crazy ooey gooey fans who really want to check out your page, you can add some visually engaging elements with all of these milestone events. Set the milestones to define your key moments. And for us, this was marching over 8,000 fans strong and, and make it prominent. So you're going to click the milestone event. You're going to add it in there, add a photograph, and then it'll actually appear on your timeline as two columns wide. So for example, when you reach a brand new fan base like ours, case in point, you're opening a new store, you've got a tour date, you've won an award. Whatever tells your story is a milestone for you. You can actually create conversation with fans. And this allows your page to stand out above competition and certainly to, to leave a lasting impression inside of a fan's mind. Fan messaging. This is a huge coup. Remember when Facebook pages could not face, could not send private messages? Well, now a Facebook page can actually private message its fans. And that's a big bonus because there are times when fans want to communicate directly besides the wall. They've got a private issue and they want to talk with the company outside of the public arena. So messages are received in the admin panel and you can turn them off in your page's admin settings. But here, if someone comes to your page and they see message, a fan can actually click on it and then send a private message to your page. Reach and respond to your fans. This is a quick way to be more personal and more engaging. So the engaging messages with fans can be a great way to answer questions, to maybe kind of take the, that call to action off the page and maybe you want to build a a stronger relationship and move them closer to a sale or you know maybe sometimes you've got a disgruntled customer or a fan and you need to take it a little bit more privately this allows you to do that as well it strengthens your relationship with them more one-on-one -on -one. ah the creme de la creme the custom landing page your custom landing page will still have the like button at the top of the page 
Now, there's a couple of things that I want to bring to your attention. With the visual width of your page, it originally was 520 pixels wide. And now Facebook allows us to have a great margin from 520 up to 810. Just for context, um, well over 1,000 is what a typical website is. So your page still has a unique URL, and that's fabulous. So add your shortened custom bit.ly link for this page to your about section, like I mentioned before, and add a custom app to your, to your page, like I mentioned before. And both of those elements will help drive engagement to this page. The best change of all, you've got a single focus layout without competing visuals to the right, which would be those ads, the ticker, maybe it's chatting with your friends, or the left of the landing page, which was the old sidebar, the about section, all of the pages you liked, etc. Now you just have a single focus action that allows your prospects to see exactly what the value is available through them, for them, through your customer service, through your product, through your brand. Here's the admin panel. This is a pretty neat location because it's just above the cover photo, making it very accessible for you on your timeline. So here you're going to see that you've got notifications, and that gives you all real-time notifications. Maybe it's going to be likes, people have posted on the wall, they've commented, they've shared, and this is important so that you can actually be pretty responsive and engaging in, in their messages. Second, is the new likes and you can see under new likes over here uh, a rolling ticker of all the new fans that you have a pretty important practice that most people I just don't do is following up when you actually engage your new likes with a private message you're letting them know that they are of value and they're not going unheard so here if you craft like a three to a four sentence a thank you and then maybe a call to action which could be Maybe you have a free MP3, you're a musician, you've got a free MP3 that you want to be able to showcase to them, and you give it to them as an attachment. Or if you've got a free PDF, and let's say you're a realtor and you wanted to give them a list of all the foreclosures in their area, those kind of valuable thank yous speak volumes about your brand and actually move your prospects or your new likes through the sales funnel. Then you've got insights, and this is a quick opportunity for you to see how your posts are engaging, how people are talking about it, what the reach of it is, and when you click on it, you can see all of it, but here is a real time for you just to understand, based upon the last day or even in the last couple of hours, how engaging your content is and how responsive your fan base is. And then finally, you've got the messages, and this is all the communication that your fans are having with you. So access your cover photo or you can hide the panel, but here, respond to messages and new likes, highly recommend within 24 hours. And you can click on the insights for analytics on how to effectively engage your fan base. The admin panel also gives us a few other engagements. The activity log, as you can see, you can access that by clicking on manage, and it's the second option in the drop down lets you easily see all of your updates without having to scroll through your entire timeline. And that is a huge benefit. So once you've accessed it, you'll be able to actually respond to people in a very quick way. Or you can actually edit your page's content, which is the first option in the drop-down, by clicking the Manage in your admin panel. The tip here is you can delete, you can highlight, and you can even pin posts quickly when you're using the activity log editor. Also within the admin panel, you have a quick snapshot of who you should respond to, and it helps you build your audience. Two ways that you can build your audience are you can invite friends from your personal profile, including all of your friends, or select lists, or just friends from recent engagements. The second way that you can actually build your audience for your fans, increase your fans, is you can share your page on your personal timeline. But when you use Facebook as page, which means that everything you do on every other page and on your page is going to be shown as your Facebook brand page thumbnail, you can only access create an ad in the drop down of build, an ad, build your audience. So here, 
you want to click on manage and then in the bottom option you want to use Facebook as yourself so that then the build your audience shows you those two options of invite friends and share your page and that is a big addition huge addition the final big addition that you now have the option to do is you can request a name change for your page and that's accessed under the help feature finally this is interesting because as much as you want your brand to look its best 99% of your fans only see your post in your newsfeed. They don't see it on your timeline because fans typically don't come back to your timeline. So here's your takeaway. Yeah, you bet. Look cool with a new timeline. Well, let's be real. More traffic, interaction, and sales will result from consistent posts, not because you have a cool timeline. So the objective here is to work hard on making your post interesting and relevant as well as timely so that your page gets more likes comments, and even shares. If you don't get responses, beware because you will become invisible. Thank you so much for watching. Let me give you two websites that you probably want to look at. To preview both the timeline and for Facebook's page tutorial, go to these www.learnfacebookpages.com or www.facebook.com forward slash about forward slash pages. Hey, if you've got questions, comments, ideas, or, or some thoughts, I'd love to hear them. So at Twitter, you can, our, our Twitter handle is at WBYSM, at Donna L. Newman, and our Facebook landing page is http colon forward slash forward slash www.facebook.com forward slash WBYSM. And email us anytime, support at webuildyoursocialmedia.com because we are gearing up to help you leapfrog your competition. So let's recap. When you apply a simple system for Facebook marketing, then you're well on your way to attracting more fans who are genuinely interested in your company's products or services. Remember, stats prove that 51% of Facebook fans are more likely to buy the brands that they fan. Join me next time for another Facebook marketing tutorial. Hey, in the meantime, feel free to write on our Facebook fan page wall whenever you'd like a Facebook insight we haven't covered or just say hi.